We're going to go to Singleton Farm, which is about seven miles um, just west of the campus. And Singleton Farm has uh, some, some well water. They have a stream and there are two ponds that are all affected by agricultural runoff in the area. And so we're going to go out and we're going to divide up into groups and the students will test the waters. And I think next Friday we'll specifically focus on the streams and the ponds, looking at some of the major constituents of the waters that are there and also be on the lookout for any sort of uh, agricultural contamination. There are a couple different goals. Um, the first goal is to really become familiar with the field test kits. Uh, we reviewed them in lab last week, uh, but this is the first time for the students taking them out into the field to utilize them in a field setting. Um, so that's the first goal, to become comfortable with that. For some of them, it'll be their first experience to some field work, so that'll be good. So it'll be the first time they're out gathering data in the field, so we'll do sort of an introduction to how to sort of collect, collect samples from the field and process them while you're in the field. And the third goal is to chemically characterize the water that is at the Singleton Farm. And one of the things that we're interested in is that the farm is surrounded by uh, no-till agricultural fields. And so the farmer who farms those lands does not uh, till the soil often between um, planting different crops. And so there's a high application of fertilizers and pesticides, which ultimately runs down the hill because we're in a little bit of a valley here with the pond and uh, <laughs> contaminates the pond water. Um, the other thing that we're interested in is just sort of the, the general chemical characterization of the pond. It hasn't been characterized for a long time. So we'll come back as well in another week or two and do some uh, bacterial testing <coughs> to see what might be in the pond as far as the type of bacteria goes. Uh, well, we're out here at Singleton Farm and we're sampling the water in the pond behind me for uh, NO2. NO2 nitrite. Um, we're using a colorometer, which tests the uh, the color of the sample that we take against the sample when we add acid and some powder. The color mixture. Yeah, and then uh, it compares those colors readings, and then it tells us the parts per million of the NO2 in the water, which is important because it's a dangerous chemical. Pretty much any free it's a pollutant. It is a pollutant. Yeah. Yeah, we're having to test. We're having to do the, the test three times just to make sure it's accurate. And uh, if we get an off reading, then we're going to have to do it again. And we'll be out here a few more times to do this test on other locations of water at Singleton Farm. I think we're going upstream, and then there's another smaller pond down there that we'll, we'll do the same test on. This is really the first summer where we're actively utilizing Singleton Farm, and I'm really excited about that. I have two students working there this summer, actually it'll be three students working there this summer now, two students working um, to map forest stands for a reforestation project, and then one student who will be carrying on the, the water and soil work that we're going to start at Singleton Farm in my environmental chemistry class. I mean, I'll be doing this, really all these tests on um, this summer, uh, doing research with Dr. Becker for five weeks running all of these tests on these exact uh, lakes and streams on Singleton Farm. Um, so we haven't we haven't utilized it as an outdoor classroom very much until this this year, but I really see it taking hold in both Dr. Scullion's classes and my own classes as a as an outdoor classroom for the Environmental Studies Department. The main benefit for the students is seeing their classroom learning applied in a field setting. Uh, and so this is what professionals do in the field when they go out and they analyze a plot. Um, taking that learning that they've learned during lecture or class activities actually out into the environment. And I think that's probably the biggest benefit that we can give them.